All right, guys, so um, I'm heading over to my parents' house. My dad is out the hospital. I want to say thank you to all of you guys for your prayers and your best wishes and your positive thoughts. I appreciate you guys. So I'm going to head over here, and uh, that way you guys can see them. You guys can check out Mama Antelope and Papa Antelope and, and uh, see how they're doing. All right, guys, so I just got here to uh, Mama Antelope's and Papa Antelope's house. As you guys don't know, my dad has been released from the hospital, and uh, this is going to be my first time coming over to see him. And uh, they both know that all of you gave them prayers and positive thoughts and best wishes and hope you get well soon and they both highly appreciate we all appreciate every single one of you guys and uh i'm gonna go ahead and let them tell you how they feel and so the next people you're gonna see is gonna be papa antelope and mama antelope and this is av watchman thank you guys be right back it's kind of windy out today guys so Let's see, I know everybody was up all night and at the hospital. Hi, everybody. I want to thank you for sending your best wishes and prayers and your, your concerns, telling my son about it. I think it makes me feel so good. I'm really tired because I was out last night in the emergency room for hours, but my husband made it home to, today, and I was really, really happy. Thank you so very much, and God bless where, all of you. Where is he at? Right there, man. He went off to sleep. I, he was sitting up to me, and I said, you can sleep. And I, Pop. When I woke up, he had got mm. to bed. How you feeling? Uh, everybody wants to know. Who's everybody? What do you mean, who's everybody? The people, Steve. The his, his, his viewers. Hmm? Huh? I'm getting older. <laughs> How you feeling, though, Pop? Huh? How you feeling? I feel okay. fairly good. Well, they all want to know how Papa Antelope and Mama Antelope's doing. Oh, God, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> What'd wow. they say, Pop? Well, I gotta lose some weight and you better diet. You've lost a lot of weight, though. Huh? You've lost a lot of weight. Well, I lose more. <laughs> All right. All right, so Papa Antelope wants to tell you guys something. Well, I, I want to thank everybody for the concerns, and I'm doing a lot better. Well, I still have a heart problem. I think I have them until I bump off. Until <laughs> <laughs> you bump off? Hey. You drinking some tea? Mm. What is that? What's tea? Oh, that's your peeing in the measuring cup. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <Blame>. oh, <my laughs> All right, guys. So, yeah, Papa Antelope's getting better. <laughs> what are you doing in here? T turn off that fan. <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> uh, alrighty. What's up, guys? AV Watchman here. I want to tell you guys thank you once again for all the prayers, all the encouraging words, all the positive thoughts, all the prayers from my dad. You know, he's doing a lot better. I want to tell you guys something. I was sitting there reading the comments to my mom. All the comments and all the love that you guys left on that video. And man, you know what? She started crying, guys. She started crying because she's like, wow. Wow. Like, she was speechless, guys. Now, the reason why I had to read the comments to her is because my mom is totally blind. She went blind at the age of eight. She had a tumor on her optic nerve. And back in the day, 
the surgeries were difficult. So like today, like in this time, time era that we're in, if you had to have surgery in your brain, they go through your upper lip, through your, your nose, to your brain. And um, I'm not sure if, you're, if they end up breaking your nose or what, but um, that's how they do it now. But back then, they would crack your whole head open. So here's my mom at eight years old having her whole head cracked open. Well, anyway, they removed the tumor from her optic nerve <clears throat> and um, she lost her sight. Just recently, about a year and a half ago, maybe, we found out the reason why she lost her sight was not actually from the tumor, but it was from the doctor clipping her optic nerve. He, I, I guess he sliced into it on accident. Give me one second, guys. Um, let me have... You're still doing breakfast, right? Yes, we breakfast, so we're also serving lunch. Okay. Let me have um, the McGriddle. Uh, the sausage McGriddle, the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Or the, the, bacon, the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, anything else? And um, an orange juice. What size? Large. Anything else? That's, does that come with the uh, hash brown? Uh, the meal. Does you want to make it the meal? Yeah, please. Anything else? No, that's it. It'll be 864 for now. All right. All right, thank you. Right, I'm back, guys. Um, so as far as that surgery went with my mom and that doctor accidentally clipping her optic nerve, I don't know if it was an accident or what. I mean, obviously, the guy didn't say nothing about it. They knew about it. They just covered it up. So, but with that said, you guys did, you really, you guys really did bring a lot of joy to both my parents, man, and you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. I'm going to go ahead and eat my food. And um, go over here and take care of these x-rays. And then I'm going to get out there and do some auditing. So um, salute, man. You guys stay encouraged, stay strong. And um, I'll see you guys very soon. AV Watchman, I'm signing out. Just playing, I can't sign out yet. I forgot. I got to... Um, I forgot to tell you guys about the meet and greet. I already um, posted it on a community update, remember? And um, we're trying to find out when we should put it together. But, um, hey, thank you. So, We want to get it going before that summer heat starts getting us, you know? And um, we're thinking, I was talking to SGV, right? And we're thinking about doing it like in about a month from now. So if any of you guys want to join us, let me know here on on this video and um, we're gonna have barbecue we're gonna have all kinds of food out there you guys don't have to worry about bringing any food or nothing like that we'll go ahead and provide the food the drinks whatever right now we're trying to locate a park that we could do it in and um, but yeah, if you guys are interested, then let me know.
I'm looking for. I'm over here at Harbor Freights. Oh, here they go. I don't know. I gotta get a another roofing another roofing gun, but I really didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on it. If these are gonna work, then they're gonna work, you know. I don't know, we'll see. Mine ended up breaking on me, so I gotta do this patio. I gotta start on this patio this week so it's another thing you guys are out here in in california if you guys need a patio built or anything done at your house let me know when i'm not working for contractors i'm out there working on my own so all right this time i am out of here let me know if you guys think about the meet and greet if you guys can make it let me know right now and um i'll be doing another video here soon about the location where it's going to be or I might just put it on a community, uh, a community post. All right, I'm out of here this time. Later.